Now, uh, first, let's deal with the study because the study is rather remarkable. Support for Medicare for All, which was that great giveaway, we all get health care, um, drops among Medicare beneficiaries. 37% of respondents say that all Americans should have access. That's down 41 for 50, uh, one point, a huge number of people. What's happening here? Well, it's even more stark among Medicare beneficiaries. I mean, they just don't think that those under 65 should be able to participate. And you can't really blame them. They've been paying into Medicare all their lives. And it's like, wait a minute, we don't want flooded by people who haven't paid into it. And so that number is up to 58 percent of Medicare beneficiaries who say we should not have Medicare for all. I mean, what's going on really when Elizabeth Warren published her plan, it became common knowledge that it's not an affordable solution. Yeah, I was uh, talking with my kids last, uh, this weekend. And they all want to know why Elizabeth Warren failed. They're, they're, they're candidly, they like her. And uh, it, that was the day. Her numbers went down like this after the plan. People are not, uh, they're understanding that those plans are pie in the sky? Yeah, I mean, Jim, I like her. She hates me. Yeah, she does hate you. She hates CEO. That's all right, not person. No. Well, maybe person. <laughs> no, I, I, I meant that, you know, uh, generically. But, <laughs> but look, I mean, she's, she's smart and, yes. you know, she works to actually be able to explain what she offers. Uh, but when it was explained, it was rejected. Right. And it's because it truly, at this stage of our GDP, it's not affordable. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.